All right, gang, we're building a shower in the camper. And what I've got so far is I've got the walls built up and my interior wall in place. I've covered it, I've, I've insulated with a foam, but I've, not so much for insulation, but just so I have a flat, smooth surface to glue plastic to. I've got some wood in here where I'm gonna have a grab handle. Wood over here for a grab handle, that's already anchored. I've got wood down in here tail light access. I guess if I ever need to get to that, if I can't get to it from the outside, I'll have to cut a hole in the shower. I don't care. Hopefully it'll last until I retire and buy something else and I'm not going to worry about it. And I've got some wiring up in here that's going to get covered, but I'll be able to pull the lights out from the outside. Okay, shower stall in place with the foam in place. This tray down the bottom is for a washer and dryer like you would use in an apartment. Uh, a stacked over under setup to where if the washer leaks it drips into that pan and it comes with a fitting that will allow it to drain into some drain system rather than the apartment below. It's a 28 inch by 30 inch uh, plastic tray that I ordered from Amazon and uh, I'm sure if you just search by those sizes you can find it that's how I found it and then it happens to be the right size for this application I had to do a little trimming to fit it in there and I went with a inch and a quarter bathroom sink drain and drilled it with an inch and a half spade bit right after the bottom and uh, sandwiched it in there with some sealant so I've got a drain in the middle. They have you put in a drain either here or over here is what they intend with the washing machine and the drain that comes with it sits about a quarter inch above the surface and I didn't want a bunch of water pooled in here. So I went with a, a more conventional drain for this. And you can see there's some overlapping and some trimming I had to do in the corners. And then I'm going to cover it in plastic. Now I want to be able to curve around these corners and have no seams. And the only way to do that with a 4 by 8 sheet is to have it 4 foot this way and it'd be about 90 inches around this way or a little less so I'll have a overlap so I'll put the bottom piece in then I'll put a top piece in let it overlap and at some point I need to put foam and uh, plastic on the ceiling before I put the upper piece in so we had the overlaps going the right way alright so then I got down to the bottom and I thought man it's gonna be a pain in the butt take a big piece like that and have to trim it for this, this step ledge that I put in here and I've got another a header piece that'll hold the shower curtain. And then I came up with the idea, how about if I just took a smaller strip and trim that to fit, and then I have one more overlap. You know, at least I have a small piece that I could work with. And here's what I came up with. Let me grab this and bring it into place. I've already got it notched. As I started to put it in place, I realized that if I do like this and I push it into the corner, that'll give me that radius that I'm looking for. And I actually kind of self adjust. And I'll get be able to get it down close enough that I can caulk the fool out of it. And it actually tapers a bit and follows it a taper up to the wall the only way it can do that is because it actually rides up a little bit it's all the way down the bottom here and it rides up and you know what I don't care I think that looks wonderful uh, I'll go ahead and fit all that down as low as it'll go and plan on caulking all that this is going to get plastic on the inside as well and on the outside for looking on a cap piece of cap trim over the top that'll get me around the bottom and then when I put the next piece in I'll just let it overlap until it looks evenly I'll keep it even at the top and let the run out go to the bottom and that's the, the curve that I'm looking at and that should get me where I want to go I want a nice curved sided shower that looks like a almost like a fiberglass surround now the material I'm using is not fiberglass reinforced. This is just, uh, oh, here it is here. 
it's unreinforced plastic it's got the textured for surface and I use that because I think it'll curve well, I know it'll curve a whole lot tighter but you still got to be careful with it it can crack okay now I've gone ahead and I've test fitted the bottom piece that I already showed you and then here is the first or uh, the remainder of that 48 inch wide piece I used 8 inches of it to make the bottom piece and the taper and then from there up by another 40 inches or a little less with an overlap and there it is with the test fit I still got to go to there but there's my uh, there's my curves I need to take this stuff back out glue it in with construction adhesive I'm using oh uh, what is it I'm using Loctite uh, power grip it's a white construction adhesive that's supposed to grip to anything foam, plastic, wood, glass, metal, gorillas, whatever. It's supposed to stick it and it seems to work. As soon as you press it into contact it holds. And then I'll use uh, a high quality sealant, white sealant to caulk everything. I've been using quad on the, most of the, the camper build but I'm, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be exactly what I was looking for. And a nice, nice shower surround for low, low money. A little bit of money. So there, there you have it. There's my shower plan and construction. Hope that helps you with uh, some ideas for your own stuff.